fish heads good morning it is uh it's getting close to fourth of july that's for sure a few things i want to go over but before we get into any of this and we will we're going to get into all of that because there's some really cool stuff happening here at jekyll um i get asked and that probably just hit my microphone i'm really sorry about that i get asked all the time i'm brand new to painting what blanks should I get? Where should I get them from? All of that. So let's talk about my top picks if you're just starting out. And this is what I would consider the meat and potatoes. It's nine little gems of goodness that every new painter should start out. And if you cannot afford nine blanks to start, then I'm going to start you out with four. And we're going to talk about those four because it's something that every angler throws. Meat and potatoes is where it's at. That's where you're going to make your bread and butter. I know. I'm probably making some of you guys hungry. I apologize for that. I had mashed potatoes last night. Not that that matters. But if you want to start out with just four, let's talk about it. these right here and the reason it's these and not the jerk bait is because the jerk bait for a lot of anglers is seasonal so is the popper but i've caught fish year round on both of them but as far as what people want to see what people want to throw and what's really cool to paint this gill through popper is going to beat the jerk bait every time I've done better in sales with poppers than I have with jerk baits. I sell both. I sell both pretty frequently. But as far as what people want to see you paint and what they want to buy and what they want to throw themselves, and folks, it's because of the blow up. When a fish hits top water, they hit it like nothing else in the world. You can see it, and it's just fantastic. So that's why this is making it into my top four. But the rest is easy peasy. So obviously a 2.5, obviously a 1.5. And then if you're going to have to choose between a standard pressing that looks like this type of ABS or a pre-foiled, this would be my choice every time. It looks cool. You can do less with it and still come out with a fantastic looking bait. This came from Schultz, but they're also sold on Amazon. They're fairly inexpensive, and I highly recommend them. They swim well. I'm not going to recommend anything for you guys that doesn't swim well because you can paint the best pattern in the world, and if you give it to an angler and it sinks like a rock or it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, then none of that matters. So it has to perform in the water as well as looking cool. So you can do basic shad patterns with this. You can do basic patterns with these four and you're gonna get some sales. And I'm talking if you're looking to start painting either for yourself or to sell lures. This is my absolute top and it also covers all the water columns. Yes, these are two shallows, but they're the top selling. 1.5s and 2.5 square bills sell more than anything else on the planet. So if you don't include these, both of them, then you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? So these have to be included. Most of the blanks that you get are going to be Lucky Craft pressings, which means they've got that little smiley face in their gill plate, and it looks like a little Y up there. Can you guys see that right there? That's exactly what nine-tenths of the blanks out there look like. Same thing with the 1.5. They're all pressed out of Lucky Crafts because that's what Lucky Craft looks like. This is a gill through. It's not exactly like the Mega styles are. Uh, this is a little bit different. It's actually a little bit less intricate and the flares don't come out on the Megas. They have the, like the individual flaring on the gills, which are really cool. Um, so this isn't a direct copyright violation. I'm sorry, it's direct patent violation. There's a difference, big difference. Uh, copyrights are normally audio and lyric and stuff like that, visual. So this is would not be a patent violation of Megas. And then you have this. So there's a, a lot of different styles out there going around, but that's my four picks for basic meat and potato lures 
everybody should be painting if you're a painter that's my four and then we're gonna get into the other five because we're gonna get into like a little bit more boutique and um, seasonal and a little bit more into the the water columns and sub columns we're gonna start out with this jerk bait and I I've got a dinger one in here but I'm trying to kind of go around the stuff that everybody sells and that you can get pretty easily here in the States without having to like wait for months and months especially now in these crazy times um, I'm not sure how available this is but I, I don't care this is worth the wait to actually get this and this is that pre-foiled party crank and everybody's gonna ask well, why, why do you call it a party crank because this is a direct kind of this is exactly like and it swims exactly it's weighted the same it's eerily similar so um, down, right down to the gill plate and look at how sharp that is folks this is worth the wait I'm telling you wait for this one to be available through dinger before you get them from anybody else and that's just my recommendation he doesn't pay me to say it um, but this is just a cut above everything else that's going on in this particular style this runs two to five feet it's a little bit deeper than a 2.5 which will run about four feet on a good day usually stays around two to three feet the 1.5 usually stays one to three feet um, two to five runs like a dream behaves wobbles twitches fantastic bait and again I would hands down do the pre-foiled any time over just the transparent like the ghost patterns although ghost patterns sell but you can put them on these two and you have a lot more vibrance in the water whether it's clear water or stained water this is my pick for this style bait dinger baits I did not pick the dinger pressing of the jerk bait that they carry simply because this guy price point wise is very accessible everybody can get it it's got that little flash pop in it's it's the Rapala style and this is I believe either the 8 or the 10 maybe the 10 so this is hands down my pick for that also behaves very well twitches very well slow rise back to the top it is sort of a floater not in a bad way if you're gonna now this would be the absolute this would I almost pulled this and didn't go into the deep column because that is more a boutique style it's not something that every single angler is going to ask for and you're only going to get asked for at certain times of the year um, usually summer when they go real real deep when the water is like bath water or in the winter you can if you can get it down that deep fish them slow and when the thermocline is has moved over um, sometimes you can get them then but this is extremely seasonal not a lot of guys are gonna crank these all day because they're a pain in the butt they're gonna rip your arms up just like throwing twitching a jerk bait um, so this again but for the style this Papa style on a deep dive and I believe this is 18 to 20 feet pretty sure maybe a little deeper um, I haven't looked at the stats on this but it is a very good very swimmable bait and Schultz I believe carries this and probably a couple of other guys but if we're in the water column, you're looking at the top area. Yep, that's the twitch bait that I would choose. They're accessible. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them from Schultz, I think. But Amazon, you can get like 10 or 15 of them for 10 bucks, and they swim okay. Wake baits, I like this style. Now, I do like the circuit board lip, but this particular lip, and again, I'm going after the flash here because you can do less with painting and still come out with a beautiful looking bait just because it's got that internal foiling that hologram type deal and of course this is a replica of the evergreen but wake baits sub sub surface usually or right at the surface and a lot of people either will feather the trebles on this or they'll put a mouse tail like I do on on a lot of these or they'll just run you can do anything really you can put two hooks you can do a feather treble you can put a rat tail on the back of this swims really well rat tails actually make it wobble really well so I do like this style and again um, I think you can get them on Amazon you can definitely get them from Schultz you can get them from backwater I want is either back I can't remember if it's sorry guys I don't remember which one of you it is either backwater 
you just have to look. It's, I'll leave you a list of all the distributors here in the States that you guys can choose from that are reputable. And then the Little John. This would be my mid-depth meat and potatoes. Everybody, everybody knows this lure, and it'll troll down probably seven feet, maybe five to seven. Some of them say six to eight. Don't always bring that up a foot. But that's just, in, in my opinion, and, and for most of the blanks, if it's not the real deal, take about a foot off of its maximum depth, and that's about what you're going to get out of it. Only because they're weighted different. It's not the same quality plastic. Um, if, you want, if you want the actual swimmers, buy the actual baits. And I always recommend that. But those are my picks for you guys are asking what you should buy. I'm going to leave you a link in the description below on where you can get all of that stuff. Um, these are meat and potatoes, bread and butter. If you're just starting out, what should you buy? This is what you should buy. This stuff right here. Don't worry about the rest of it till you start getting clientele that's asking for specific stuff. That's what I got on the tips and tricks for you this morning. You guys have a great day. Happy 4th of July weekend. Um, I'm filming this before that, but you're going to get it probably around the 4th of July, Friday or Saturday release, I think. I might release it Thursday. I don't know. When, when you get it, you get it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the view, and as always, happy casting. Thanks for watching. Cheers.